Bridge people doing a very nice program for us. Uh, Chuck Paul has been a member of the Woodbridge Emergency Squad for about 45 years. Uh, he has been a uh, an employee of uh, the Independent Leader when it was the Independent Leader uh, newspaper. He's worked for the Home News when in New Brunswick, mm -hmm. and also as uh, the manager of the New Jersey Convention Center. One of the most interesting things about him is that he is a direct descendant of a doctor who fought in the uh, Revolutionary War. Um, oh, let me see what his name is. Uh, um, he was a <coughs> uh, Surgeon General, Dr. Charles McKnight. And uh, he's now waiting on uh, acceptance by the Sons of the American Revolution uh, for membership. Not the doctor. Chuck Paul. <laughs> um, he's also the uh, vice commander of the <clears throat> American Legion Post 471 in Islam. So he has a lot of close uh, contacts with a lot of different things in Woodbridge Township. Um, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce him now. And uh, you're going to be talking and entertaining questions as we go along on the different sites, historical sites that you're going to be showing. Correct, if there's questions, we'll take them. Okay, you don't have to wait till the end of the program. If something catches your eye on page three, <laughs> okay. ask. And, and we'll have a prompt response, right? Okay. Thank you, Barbara. Welcome, everybody. I'd just like to let you know that oh, approximately five, six years ago, my wife got me interested in postcards. I'm basically interested in Woodbridge Township because I grew up and lived in Woodbridge Township for 64 years. Perth Amboy, my mother and father were born in Perth Amboy, raised in Perth Amboy, married in Perth Amboy. So was I. I was baptized there and our son was baptized in Perth Amboy. So basically what I would like to do is just get a brief description of each of the enlargements of the photographs. And if they have any particular interest to you, that might be of interest to the rest of the group. If something is of very particular interest to me, I will let you know why the picture is posted up here. Once we're done tonight with the presentation, if you would care to come up and get a closer look, that would be fine. We'd appreciate that because we'd like everybody to get a close look at it. Okay? So we'll get started. The first picture here is the cloverleaf got about five buildings on it. That's the first clover leaf in the country. The second one, it's a little difficult to see here, but it's the Knights of Columbus building. And right here is where the policeman stood in a little kiosk to direct traffic. This uh, postcard is from 1924. The next photograph down here is the Woodbridge train station before it was elevated. The next one, I don't know about, and I don't know if anybody else does, it says Orchard Cabins, Route 25 in US 1, Woodbridge, New Jersey. Nobody I've talked to knows about them. Did you say orchard? Orchard. As an apple orchard, something like that. Well, that's, that is the current Route 35 now. Yes, it's the current Route 35. Yeah. Over here is, at the time, Woodbridge High School. Then it was school number one. Now it's a school administration building. I attended this school from first to third grade. Then moved on to school number 11, Barron Avenue, then Woodbridge High School. Over here is the Woodbridge Athletic Association on Green Street. They had many fine, large buildings, magnificent buildings on Green Street. And as of today, a lot of them have been turned into offices. Yes, Bob? on Green Street? I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't give an address. I think, I, I think that uh, it was down across from um, would have been opposite the middle school. Here. Okay. The middle school and then walked out to Green. It was down in that section. The next two pictures 
is a dedication of the Sa Soldiers and Sailors Monument by the Town Hall. This one says they dedicated May 30th, 1916. So the two are from 1916. This is the original Woodbridge Firehouse. Quite a difference from today's firehouse. Here's another picture of school number one, or the high school at the time, a different view of Brook Street. To the right would be the firehouse, current firehouse, and to the left would be the past Woodbridge Emergency Squad building. This is just a picture of looking up Green Street with a little child here. We don't know who that is, but it added a little something to the picture. Here's another picture looking west onto Green Street. Some of the magnificent houses and the trees. Thankfully, the trees are still there and some of the buildings are still there. This is a picture of the Middlesex Press, which was the old independent leader, but at the time I believe it was a Masonic temple as well before they built the new building. This is the Cross Keys Tavern, which is now located behind the 7-Eleven. This is where George Washington went through New Jersey. He stopped here for an overnight stay. Excuse me, is that before it got moved? Yes. So is, it, is there a date on that? It just says that uh, George Washington stopped there in 1789, so not an actual date of the postcard itself. It was moved about 1921, Okay. 22. Very good. Thank I you. I didn't know if there was a date on that. Another picture, it says Masonic Call, which was the independent leader. Unfortunately, it burnt down a few years, more than a few years ago. But that's where I served my apprenticeship in printing. This is a picture of Trinity Church on Broadway Avenue. There's a little, uh, kind of hard to see from this distance, but right here there's a child with a bicycle. Over here, I'm pretty sure everybody knows the memorial building of the Old Town Hall. And another shot of Green Street, Woodbridge, 1916. Not all the postcards were utilized. They weren't posted. So it's difficult to find out when they were sent. Here's a picture of the Baron Arts Center. Dr. Del Dolores Joffrey is a uh, major person that uh, works there. The high school, it says high school, but it's now the Baron Avenue School. The, I went there, it's called just the middle school in Woodbridge. Is there a date on that, Chuck? 1916. Okay, that's before the addition on the west side. On the left side. South side. Yeah. Is Correct, yeah. where the uh, gymnasium, gymnasium is. Gymnasium. This is a picture of Herdsbrook. The school number 11 is here. There's no date on this one. Dutch Made Motel used to be on Route 1, near my house where I live now. Beaumont Furniture. This is by the railroad tracks. Now the reason I got this one is I, when I was on the first aid squad, I was there at the fire, which burnt the building down, so that was of interest to me. Picture of Howard Johnson's, that's gone. It's now where the uh, car dealership is. I like it better that way. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people do. Now we're going into Seawarn also known as Boynton Beach. Now, this is a ticket office. Over here, it's just a picnic grove. This is, uh, they call it excursion landing. I guess people came over from New York to uh, Boynton Beach. And this is dated 1908. I never knew there was a Ferris wheel there, but obviously there was. Also dated 1908. And a type of roller coaster. Bamboo slide. <laughs> you can imagine sliding on bamboo. And getting splinters. Well, I assume <laughs> it's the rounded portion you want. I'm sure. <laughs> now, um, we're getting back to Woodridge just on this one. This is before the elevation on Green Street by the railroad tracks. Again, this is where the independent leader building was. Charles E. Gregory's independent leader. This is a picture of the crossroads of New Jersey, you might say, where the parkway and turnpike cross each other. Over Main, Main Street crosses over then. This one's not a postcard. This was from the Star Ledger, but I had to do it. It, it was from Howell's uh, Lumberyard, Lumber. where Parker Press is now. Lumber Company, yeah. 
Right. The girls' vocational school is still there. Walton House, I don't know of that one, but that's uh, Route 1 in Avenel. If you look closely, it's a gasoline stop. There's an car, old car in there. This is a strange postcard, kind of small. Ford's school. Number seven school, probably. Probably. Oh, that's seven. Here's the Presbyterian Church in Island. Now we go to Perth Amboy. Wrong. Skip one. No, I didn't either. It is Perth Amboy. Because of my interest in Perth Amboy, I tried to get all the churches that were there. This is the St. Mary's Church. This is the church I belong to, St. Peter's, on Rector Street by the waterfront. This is a picture of State Street looking south. What's the year of that, John? There's no date on it, unfortunately. Like I say... It has said trolley tracks. Right. They might have gone all the way through Woodbridge, up Rollway Avenue and in such. Boynton and Beach. Beach. In Boynton Beach, Beach, that type of thing. This is Perth Amboy Hospital, called the City Hospital back then. Quite a difference from today. This is just a picture of the park with the cannon. Some of these cards have inscriptions on the front and on the back. Does that identify where the cannon is? It just says public park. I believe that's the market square, the circle by town hall, by city hall. It appears to be that way because that might be it there. Here's City Hall Park again, a walkway of Perth Amboy, another shot of State Street, the railroad station. Central Railroad. Wow. And this is just a night picture of the Perth, of the Routon Yacht Club. Another one of Perth Amboy looking down Smith Street with the trolley tracks going down it. Smith and the Brunswick Avenues area near the five corners. Here's the old bridge. This one is one of the houses. It's the Westminster House. The bridge, is that the Sheridan Street Bridge? This is the county bridge connecting South Amboy and Perth Amboy. It doesn't tell you where it was. No. Before the Victory Bridge was the uh, Sheridan Street Bridge. Okay. And that's probably it. Pick, is that this the is proprietary house, the Westminster House? <coughs> no. Westminster House. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is a home built in 1902, lighthouse. I used to hear stories about my grandfather taking his Model T Ford, driving on Raritan River and Raritan Bay there because it froze over. The Tottenville Ferry. This is dated from 1915. The ferry entrance. This is YMCA. This is the Thomas A. Edison Bridge. This is the Governor's Mansion. Proprietary house. Where Donald gave a nice speech, I understand. Nice tour of ghosts. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. The Raritan Yacht Club. Perth Amboy Trust Company, Perth Amboy High School, a picture of downtown Smith Street. Right. Here you have the Westminster House, the dry dock yards in Perth Amboy with sailing vessels. And this is just another one, I believe, that's where the Majestic Theater was, Maple Street, was it? Yes. yes. Didn't say. Here's a postcard I found I had to get. This is where they donated a plane during World War II, and it says the city of Perth Amboy on it. It's a bomber. Mm -hmm. This one says a country scene near Perth Amboy with some cows in, in the area. Another church, First Presbyterian. This one is the Simpson Methodist Episcopal Church. This one's from 1906. Another one from the Port of Perth Amboy along the river. And the First Baptist Church on the far corner. It's just a sailing vessel in Raritan Bay. 
This is the Raritan Yacht Club, a colorized postcard. It's from 1923. And this is St. Stephen's Polish Church, which is on State Street, I believe. Mm -hmm. And now we get away from a little bit of Perth Amboy. When I was young, my mother always took us to Kingsburg. <laughs> and we always rode on that little train. I think it's still going. This is just a lighthouse in Kingsburg, another shot of Kingsburg, and some bathers at Kingsburg. An old picture of Newark Airport. We've all taken trips from Newark Airport if, you've, if you fly at all. Lucy the Elephant and Margate, we pretty much visited there. And this is from the Menlo Diner, which has uh, been rebuilt. Looks like an old 50s diner. We tried to go there the other day and they didn't have any power. So we had to go someplace else. Asbury Park, the Morrow Castle, when it burned. Have a picture of that. It's from 1937. Here's a picture, I don't know if everybody knows, Hot Dog Johnny's in Buttsville up near the Water oh, yeah. Gap. <laughs> One of the famous places the scouts always stopped when we went scouting. And they always have buttermilk. Yes. Always buttermilk. Always have buttermilk there. And birch beer, too. Yep. This is the Twin Towers Lighthouse in the Highlands. The Lucy Evelyn ship, that's down near Ship's Bottom, I believe, Barney Gat. And this is a picture of the Thomas A. Mathis Bridge, which is Route 37 from 1953. When we were kids, we always went to, on vacation, a little town called Ocean Gate, which was down past uh, Tom's River. And we always went to Seaside Heights one night while we were there. My father gave us a couple bucks and said, have fun. So this is the old wooden bridge that used to be over by Pelican Island. When you traveled over, the boards rattled. And my sister, who traveled over there, never liked to go over that because she was always afraid to drop in through because of the rattle. This is a picture of Ocean Gate, one of their pavilions and a pier. They used to have a sliding board here. And you used to go up and slide down and splash in the water, climb up a ladder and do it all over again. It's another picture of Ocean Gate. That's the Coast Guard house in Ocean Gate, which is now a longer Coast Guard house. This is just a picture from Medicine Park, Roseville Park. <coughs> this is the Edison Tower, Woodbridge Avenue in Metuchen. Reason this is here, uh, my former boss lives on Woodbridge Avenue, and this is a dirt road. So it's been quite a while. It wasn't postmarked with a date. And the last one that I have is also from the Star Ledger. I couldn't pass this one up. It's a picture from the Woodbridge Racetrack, which was up behind the high school, mm -hmm. and the racetrack was wood. Right. Yeah. And they had many accidents there, and they just did away with it after it was not safe any longer. And I believe that's it for now. So if you have any questions, right. I'd be happy to answer them. Yeah. Any questions? Were you a photographer for the newspaper? No, ma'am, I was a typesetter, which is no longer a trade. Computers did away with typesetting. So how did you obtain all your... Pardon? How did you obtain all your pictures? Some of them I got from postcard shows. We were up in Parsippany yesterday, and we were at the PAL building off of Route 46, and you get postcard shows. We got some there. Quite a few I got off of eBay. You just look under collectibles and click on postcards and there's all thousands and thousands of postcards. So if you ever have any interest in that, go to eBay and click on whatever you like and see what they cost. But always remember, you have to pay postage as well. <laughs> Chuck, do you, uh, do you click on like Woodbridge and then see if we come up with Yes. It? When you get up postcards, it comes up where that Blank spaces in the upper right, click Woodbridge, Perth Amboy, Kaysby, where my wife is from. We don't have any postcards from Kaysby, unfortunately. But you can click on anywhere. That's how I found Hot Dog Johnny's when you put in Buttsville. There's not too many postcards from there because it's a very small town. Any other questions? Okay, I thank you. Do you have any copies of the Independent Leader? I used to, but for some reason they disappeared. Oh, really? The one Green Street? Um, I had a, I had a binder from 1937, with all the issues from back then, and I took them someplace to loan them, and they disappeared, unfortunately. 
And the reason I chose 1937, because that's the year the Woodbridge Emergency Squad was formed. Anything else? Well, if not, I thank you all for paying attention. Feel free to come up and turn the pages. Thank you.